It was another late night council meeting inside Austin City Hall and Mike Cannon, he was there <laughs> until after midnight and so he's breaking down two new developments. The big thing, mm -hmm. short-term rentals and then mega bus. Mm -hmm. But let's talk, start with short-term rentals because mm -hmm. there was a lot of back and forth about this. There was and, and we spent a lot of time talking about it, not just a lot of back and forth. I think at one point we counted about four hours worth of testimony and discussion wow. and I, yeah, obviously this is, a, this is a heavy topic for the city and, and council members want to get it right. Advocates on both sides are concerned about where we're going with it, so that's, that's the, the confusion, I imagine. But they ended up voting on some rules, but talk about what happened. So uh, there, are, there are some clear indications of what, what council wants to do, or at least a majority of what council wants to do. Uh, the big thing there is a year moratorium on what they call Type 2 rentals, which are the, the sort of uh, not owner-occupied, the, the, the larger places that you go and rent. Uh, city wants to, it sounds like they're going to do uh, a, a year moratorium on those types of buildings, uh, uh, licensing those types of buildings. Um, and they'll come back with a study at the end of the year, see what that's impacted. It's interesting, Greg Kassar, Council Member Kassar, is concerned that this might actually force more folks underground and thus make the job of enforcement a little bit harder and maybe take the focus off of some of the nuisance abatement that they'd like to do. So, you know, the what I guess the mayor kept on referring to as bachelor parties, those ha you know th those types of houses, that the enforcement uh, of that stuff might actually suffer, says Councilmember Kassar, if they're spending all their time trying to suss out all these you know underground homes. So bottom line, it goes back to council next Thursday. We'll be back next Thursday, although they haven't quite scheduled the meeting yet. So we've been promised it'll happen. We'll see what happens. Well, there's a big deal. All right, yeah. let's talk about Megabus now. Yeah. What were they trying to do? So Megabus wants a terminal uh, that's more permanent, I guess, than what they were picking up at, at UT. Uh, and they'd like to use that uh, little garage on, fi on uh, 15th Street. I'm sure everybody's seen it. The tacos used to be there and everything. Yeah, little old-fashioned gas station. You got it. And um, and they uh, the, the there was a neighbor that filed a petition against the idea. Um, council denied the petition, so it sounds like they get their terminal. So they're going to be headed there. Uh, it sound, seems like it, yeah. All right, and there's room to place big buses there, they think, huh? We'll find out. We'll find out. All right, Mike Hannon, thank you so much. Always such good insight, especially since you stayed up so late through all the council meetings. Trying to keep eyes. Well, we certainly appreciate <laughs> it. Thank you.